Mobutu Seseko, Wealth Properties of the Dictator, Early Life and Ascentry to Power. Mobutu Seseko, born Joseph Disea Mobutu on 14th October 1930, rose to power in the Democratic Republic of Congo, then Zaire. In 1965, he, establishing one of the Africa's most notorious dictatorships, his regime, which lasted until 1977, was marked by rampant corruption, human rights abuses, and a parallel accumulation of personal wealth. Mobutu wealth and properties became a symbol of his regime. Excesses and are often cited as the example of kleptocracy in Africa. Accumulation of wealth of Mobutu accumulation of wealth. Mobutu wealth was estimated to be between 4 billion US dollar to 5 billion at the highest of his power. He amassed his fortune through various means including embezzlement of state funds, kickbacks from foreign companies, and control over the country's vast natural resources, particularly copper and diamond. Mobutu personal wealth stood in stark contrast to the poverty experienced by most Congolese citizens, properties, and real estate holdings. Mobutu owned numerous properties both in Zaire and abroad. His real estate pro portfolio was an extravagant as it was extensive with luxury houses, estates scattered across multiple countries. Laptolian, the, the vassal of the jungle. One of the Mobutu most famous property was his palestal estate in Gabatole, his birthplace in the northern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo, often referred to as Vassile of the jungle. This lavish compound included multiple opulent mansions, a private airstrip capable of handling Concord jets, and various other amenities befitting a monarch. Main palace. The centerpiece of Gaba toilet was the main palace, a grand structure adorned with bumble gold and rare woods. The palace featured dozens of rooms, including luxury bedrooms, grand ballrooms, and state of the art conference facilities. The value of the main palace was estimated to be the ten of millions of dollars. Considering the its size, opulence and cost of transporting material to such a remote location. Secondary resident. In in addition to this main palace, the estate included several secondary residents for family members and guests. Each resident was designed to reflect luxury and comfort, complete with swimming pools, gardens, and private security support facilities. The estate also boosted support facilities, which included staff quarters, hospitals, elaborate communication center. These facilities were essential for maintaining the self-sufficiency and security of Mobutu Jungle Retreat. European mansion. Mobutu also owned several properties in Europe, particularly in Belgium, France, and Switzerland. These properties, strategically located in some of the most desirable and exclusive areas, reflecting his penchant for luxury and his desire for international presence. In Belgium, Mobutu owned multiple properties including Malson in the upscale suburb of Waterloo, just outside Brussels. Waterloo Manson, known for its expensive grounds and luxury interior, was valued at several million dollars. The property reserved as a treat for Mobutu and his family, offering privacy comfort away from political pressures of Zaire. In France, Mobutu French property included villa in the Côte Azou, one of the most sought-after locations in the Mediterranean coast. The villa features stunning views of the sea, large gardens, and opulent interior decorated with expensive artwork and furnishing. The value of this villa was estimated to be between 10 million to 20 million US dollars, considering its prime location and luxury. In Switzerland, Switzerland, known for its disc discretion and financial services, was another country where Mobutu invested in real estate. He owned a chalet in the exclusive sky resort of Vabia. The property provided a luxury retreat for winter holiday and was valued at several million dollars. Other international properties 
Mobutu estate portfolio extended beyond Europe with property in other parts of the world. Notably, he owned a mansion in Portugal and several properties in the United States. In Portugal, the Portuguese mansion located in the picturesque region of Algev was another testament to Mobutu love for luxury. This property featured extensive ground, private beaches, and amenities that will one will expect from a high-end estate. The value of this mansion was estimated to be the, the range of 5 million to 10 million US dollars. In the United States, Mobutu owned property in cities such as Washington DC and New York City. These properties were often used for diplomatic purposes and personal retreat. The combined value of this U.S. property was substantial, reflecting the high real estate prices in this major urban center. Legacy and after death. And after Matsori, the fall of Mobutu regime in 1977 exposed the full extent of his wealth and the excessive of his lifestyle. His property once a symbol of his power and influence, became a focal point for investigation and legal battle aimed at recovering stolen assets. Many of his property were sized or sold off as a part of efforts to reclaim the funds he had embezzled from Congolese state. Despite his efforts, much of the wealth remained unaccounted for, hidden in secret banks, accounts abroad, and investment around the world. The legacy of his rule continues to haunt the Democratic Republic of Congo, a country still grappling with the consequences of decades of kleptocratic governance. Conclusion Mobutu Seseseku accumulation of wealth and its vast real estate holding serve as a stark reminder of the impact of corruption and misrule on a nation. While his property was a symbol of luxury and power, they were also um, emblem of the exploitation and suffering endured by the Congolese people. The story of Mobutu wealth underscores the 